welcome to the Myers Outdoor Company. Today we'll be going over what I bring in my backpack for YouTube videos, just exploring in the woods, fishing and hunting. So let's get started. To start out with this big pocket in the back, it folds in half and uh, usually if I'm going on overnight trips, I put clothes back here. It has a little zipper here for like toiletries and stuff. Uh, but I just keep a rain cover in here usually because I don't go overnight usually. Now for the second biggest pocket. I keep an iPad to check trail cameras and to record quick things if I need to or just check my texts. Keep my chest mount for my GoPro. Keep like a, it's like a kind of like a gun tripod thing that I can like just vlog with and point at the fish or whatever it might be. I keep a case full of all my SD cards. And then I kind of call this my man purse. Has everything camera wise I need and knives and stuff. And then a GoPro. I, I usually have two GoPros, but I just put one in here for the video. Now for my man purse, uh, there's a zipper up top that sometimes I keep stuff in, but mainly everything is inside of here. So inside of here, I have two Civivi knives, uh, the Riffle and the Elementum. Uh, I have two extra camera batteries for my main camera and GoPro batteries. And I have some GoPro screws and like little mounts. And then I have this, which I can plug into the iPad I keep. And it, uh, you can put SD cards in it. And so yeah, check the trail camera. And then last, but probably one of the most used things I have is this notebook. I'm a, I like to write down everything I do, so. I'm going to show you everything in here, but I have a bunch of stuff written down about how to use certain things and what I did certain days, so yeah, I, I, I like to keep a notebook of what I did and how I did it, and especially for like making merch, which you guys can check out the Myers at Dorco for, uh, it has a lot of that stuff in there of the fonts I used and what website I used. But yeah, that's it for my man purse. It also has this microfiber thing, so if I wanted to, I could keep electronics in here, but just don't. I don't really have any of that I keep except my iPad, but can't fit in there. All right, we're, we're already we're flying through this. We're already on the last two pockets. Also, keep this on the front just to attach things to. It has a compass, but I don't really use it. I just attach like clips or carabiner clips to it. It also has this ring, so it's kind of nice. I keep a bunch of battery packs. I have three pretty big ones, and I. Uh, yeah, these, these charge stuff up really quick, especially for like fishing stuff where I use a lot of GoPro batteries. I'll charge them while I'm fishing or while I'm hunting. I'll just put one in a gator or my truck while I'm waiting because they're a lot faster than my car chargers. And then for the final pocket, this is kind of like my extra stuff that I don't really need, but I keep anyway. Like this is a pen. It's a, it's a screwdriver, it's an icebreaker, it's kind of just like a screwdriver. flashlight, which honestly I use more often than I thought I would. Uh, it gets dark quick during the winter and fall, so, or if I'm going for morning hunts, I usually use it. And it's pretty bright. Uh, I have a spoon, which you guys might think is a little overkill, but the amount of times that my brother will bring me, like, soup or I'll bring sandwiches and we have soup or cereal out to the blind or whatever it might be fishing. The amount of times that it has it, that I need a spoon, it also has a knife on it, uh, is actually way more than you think. I keep in my backpack that, I'm, that I didn't show is my camera, my tripod, and then my microphone. Um, these, you can't really make videos without a camera and a tripod. I mean a camera and a microphone and it's very difficult to make a video without a tripod so yeah I always keep those. Thank you for watching and consider subscribing because I will be making an increase in videos coming with a healthy foot and the new year so yeah I'll be having a bunch of fishing videos out and I'm trying to get into serious fly fishing. I just bought my first few flies which I'll show you guys. I just bought these few, there's a few woolly boogers and then a streamer that is gold and orange and red 
and then a mayfly and just like a little like nymph maybe and uh, I'm gonna try I've been practicing my fly fishing casting and uh, with my broken foot you don't really need to walk so I just go out to the backyard and practice fly casting so yeah hopefully I'll be getting a lot of fly fishing in this spring and uh, consider subscribing thank you for watching and if you enjoyed and see you guys on the next one Thank you.